took my blood pressure this morning 130 over 86 which i think is okay having my barocca all these lovely little vitamins in and i'm gonna go out and do my 5k walk First time I've noticed this here, this bamboo gym. Obviously a kick bag, boxing bag there. All these tires. Dip bar. Bench press. Yeah, I think I'll check that out this Saturday or Sunday, 8.30. I like a bit of Elvis. So also, Jeff, one of the first subscribers I met, I've actually bumped into a few guys, if that's one of you, hello. Bumped into a few guys that have seen the channel, but I'm, Jeff's coming in on today actually, and I think he's looking to retire out here. Guy from Wales. So if I, uh, I'll see him, and I'll try and make that Elvis show, just to, just to have a look, right on my doorstep something different to do a little bit of live Elvis this fella's pulling his boat in should we go and have a look eh yeah it'd be interesting to see the catch that they've got what they're bringing in I'm sure these guys go out at four or five in the morning I hear them tell you what else I hear now at the Copacabana and I think it's mostly weekends well actually it was so it was Thursday night last night loud music till four or five in the morning I don't know if it's an apartment or if it's outside I'd imagine it's outside I don't see what they've caught. Maybe they've put traps out. Anyway, that's that. Or maybe they've put nets out and they're going to collect them later. Not much of a fisherman, me. Ah, nice, they're, they're sorting the nets out here. I do like the trade of fishing. I think you can, if you can fish, if you've got somewhere to fish like this, you can, you can feed yourself and your family. You don't need a supermarket. So I, I do like that. I do like that idea. Of course you're gonna need you're gonna need some rice or whatever vegetables but you hear what I'm saying don't you fellas I'm sure all right fellas just on Feprasit Road I don't know if I've said that right but down there and left is John Tien down there and right is Patia and I think this will be about this will be around about 15 minutes if that from uh, Pattaya, probably 10, 10 15 minutes on a on the back of a motorbike. Uh, it says it's just opened. I'm not sure if anybody's got any information. I know there's another one I think in Pratamnak, but these are actually really fun if you've uh, if you've never done them, especially if there's a couple you're in, you're trying to you know you, you you're competing against each other. So that is where that is. I'll take a screenshot real quickly of the, of the map so you know where it is. But it, it looks, you've got, the, you've got the screen up there. You've probably, I don't know if you've got a bar, but they might have a bar. They have, the one, they have a bar in the ones in the UK, but obviously you have to have a, a pint after you've, uh, you've been on the track. And there's the opening, 10 till 1 a.m. Don't know what the cost is, 
if you if you check out the website no doubt it'll show you there but this is quite a large one so yeah it looks quite fun I'll just throw up the I'll throw up the location now and then I will head I'm just heading out to get some some chicken it's a bit of a nightmare I've got to go quite far to get a cooked chicken that that I know is uh, well cooked and, and well sourced or at least you think it's well sourced but yeah that's the plan now fellas see you there first had to top this up it was flashing at me and total was 160 baht to fill it from empty right fellas I'm, I'm just gonna hang around here I'm up on Suckenbit Road or Fepacit look it says Fepacit there I'm sure this is Suckenbit Road um, I've just seen an advert that you have to see so let me just hang around and wait till it comes on Guaranteed it's gonna come on when this bus comes past very busy here right now Must be you know all the schools are closed etc Friday Look at all these bikes here as well very busy Been here 10 minutes waiting for this advert. Come on, this has got to be it. There you go, one size fits all. I just thought that was a little funny, anyway. That was it. Oh my word, just that fella there, anyway. Big C is down there. See if my times 10 works, of course, it doesn't. I'm not sure why so I'm gonna go big C get some chicken and then head home before I head out tonight this looks okay just pulled over here on Fepacit Road or Suckenbit Road I'll have to have a look which one it is to be honest but I've never seen a soy 50 50 and 1 the highest soy number I've seen right moving on fellas so they have these little food courts at Big C I don't know if you've seen them but very cheap meals uh, look at that chicken curry omelette and rice with or a fried egg 70 baht that is a bargain there And it works the same as any food court somebody mentioned about the food court in central and terminal 21 i will have to it, you normally just see the the card stations at the either in the center or at the entrance but you just go up get a card and they've got loads of little places here but this is an absolute bargain and these guys are eating it and they cook it so have a look what else they have look so yeah Absolutely nothing, isn't it? Maybe I should get something here.
obviously that's where you get your e-card but I'm just gonna skip it I'm too picky I'll just go and get my own get the chicken do it at home I've had severe food poisoning uh, in Pattaya I was ill for three months so I'm very careful what I eat out here I've had food poisoning probably six times at least very badly as well here so like I say I like to prepare my own stuff apart from these chickens I think the chickens here big C they must be you know they must be uh, kept right I imagine they'll have more policies or procedures for the chicken than the wood on the street just some street vendor so you know they probably they have an out, out of date on them and whatnot just I trust the chickens here more than I do on a, on a street vendor and that's because I've been very sick eating here but they could be absolutely fine it's personal preference but big C's chickens for me not your typical supermarket music is it rocking it ah, now this salad bar looks uh, very good actually I'll take some of this 29 baht 400 grams 58 baht for that you guys uh, make your own mind up on that but it's a varied salad and veg so healthy that salmon fillet's huge for two, 215 baht I should have a little bit of a change from chicken and I've picked some egg fried rice there for 29 baht so got my carbs vegetable and protein now I just need some more of those mango slices let's have a look let's get some uh, yogurts for gut health as well all healthy eating Now these ones are much better because the last ones were 85% mango and 15% sugar. So these ones are healthier. We'll get these. And this here, this must be like a taste pot. And here. Yeah, these little pots are, are testers. Tasty. Wish they had some of these pots for them. Oh, and the dried durian. I'd like to try that, but I'm not going to. I might not like it. And it's about 400 baht. No, that's that's 800 baht for them free. The durian's very expensive. I've come out the wrong end of Big C here. So this is a street that I don't know. Have a quick look. What's on here? I'm looking for a, a DIY pro. They, they do have one at the other big C, but this one's closer. So I've come here, but nothing really exciting here. Real estate, attorneys, Thai Euro law. That looks like a dentist possibly, or a massage place. Oh, let's, let's check out these. There you go. Advertising. The Creed Clinic, don't know what that is. Massage training center there. It's not a bad shout, is it? Anyway, moving out. Ah, while I'm talking, any of you guys heard of Sam Sulluk? I think I'll be able to walk this way. Yeah, Sam Sulluk, he's I think he's around at just under 25 years old. He's one of the top fitness influencers right now. I'm watching him a little bit. Really good, huge guy, huge kid even, uh, young young man. But he um, he he really helps 
anybody that's training, he, he really speaks to, to anybody that's in the beginning of their, 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 their life as, as training, exercising, working out specifically. So if you if you've not checked out Sam Sullock, check him out. Really interesting guy, really mellow, nice guy. I've been watching him a lot. Uh, really encouraging. So if you're in into that kind of vibe, training and whatnot, I'm sure you would have heard of Sam Sullock. But if not, go go and check him out. He's quite entertaining to watch. He just he just talks in his car while he drives to the gym and then trains. Uh, it really works though. Anyway, moving on. And that's that fellas, 478 baht, just over 10 pounds, just over 20 Aussie dollars. So I'm gonna get stuck into this now. And that's that gents, I'm just gonna head out now tonight. So, hopefully, I'll get a little bit of footage and I'll see you on the next one.